Listen carefully. Reasonable dose of pain leads to more pleasure. Reasonable doses of pain lead to more pleasure. The interplay between struggle and satisfaction has long been a subject of intrigue for philosophers, psychologists, and scientists. While many people assume they are polar opposites, recent research suggests a more nuanced relationship between the two. One example is ice-cold water immersion. Researchers have found that it enhances blood circulation, improves mood, and reduces symptoms of depression. Today, Ice water immersion is regaining popularity in the form of cold showers. The concept of hormesis challenges the traditional view that all exposure to toxins or stressors is harmful. Instead, it suggests that a small amount of exposure to cold, heat, and even radiation can be beneficial. Although some findings are controversial and disputed, intermittent fasting has demonstrated health benefits. While exercise can cause mild cellular stress, its absence leads to serious health problems. Regular movement can help prevent the onset of drug abuse and addiction. Furthermore, pushing through the pain of workouts may lead to a feeling of triumph resulting in satisfaction. Extreme sports such as skydiving, kite surfing, and hang gliding can become addictive due to the release of adrenaline and dopamine. Not all who engage in extreme or endurance sports are addicted, but the risk increases with the quantity and duration of the activity. Ancient philosophers like Socrates observed the relationship between pain and pleasure. Modern accounts, like those of people struck by lightning and surviving, further support the idea that suffering can give way to satisfaction. You can observe this phenomenon in various aspects of life, such as an improved mood after illness, an endorphin rush after a workout, or excitement from a horror show. In a way, painful experiences call for compensation. Fortunately, pain and joy share overlapping brain regions, enabling the reward to follow closely. Discomfort may lead to pleasure due to homeostasis, your body's self-regulation. However, in some cases, people can become addicted to suffering, as seen in patients who over-exercise or self-harm. Workaholism is another form of addiction where people become absorbed in their work and find it tough to disengage. Such behavior may create a rift in intimate connections with friends and family.